cheap breaker of big wind. <laughs> Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. We are in Bandung still today and we are gonna be going into the Japanese caves here, taking Mark and his family in to check them out right now. So let's cruise on over here and see how much it's gonna to cost to get in. All right, let's see. Well, not too bad guys. About 100,000 rupees for all of us to come in and uh, check it out. So it's basically you walk in and you just follow the trail. It should take you to the Japanese caves, which were built you know, during the World War II era. And then you've got the Dutch caves as well that we'll be able to go in and check that out. So it'll be fun. It'll be cool to see a little bit of history. If you guys have seen some of our earlier videos, you've seen that we've been here before. Mark's even been here before, but his family hasn't. And so that'd be really cool to take them in and check it out. Look at the love, people. Aww. They're full of love. Brotherly love. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Yeah, check out the water wheel, Brother guys. Be awesome to see in operation. Lots of slippery wet stairs cruising down this way. Watch your step. So basically, just follow the path all the way along. Here's one of the smaller entrances, but the big ones are right down here. You can see them one, two, three right there. Actually, there's four maybe. Just can't see them all from here yet. So here you can rent these flashlights. They're free to rent here, but you pay down there. So let's cruise on in, guys. All right, so we're going into the cave now. And uh, there's a lot of space in here. The guides offer their services. And you decide how much you want to pay. Can't really see much in here though. It's awful dark. This is that hole right here. Hey Isaiah. This is the hole, this is where you climbed up right there. That's it right there. Okay, bye bye. He's gonna become a Japanese soldier. Bye. They're about that big. See ya. Okay, be careful when you're running, it's slippery. Meet you back around at the other side. Okay, took a Bye. There goes a whole little bat family right there, so there. Yeah, maybe babies there, huh? That's cool. If you guys be quiet, you can hear them. We're up there looking for bats. <laughs> so cruising through the cave still. You can see some of the outlets there. There's a lot of tunnels in here though. Look at all these guys here. Yeah? Bunch of what? Bunch of bats? Bunch of bats in your belfry? You're disturbing their peace? Whoa. There's a bunch in there. Coming out of the cave now. Cruising back out onto the main trail. And uh, you can see right here, this is the cave right here behind me. And then right over here, you've got some of the other ones. We went in the one way down over there, like way back right over there. So we went in, then we go through here and there's just a bunch of like crisscrossing uh, tunnels, kind of like a grid pattern of tunnels going through here. Super dark, and like you can see anything. You turn off the flashlights, pitch black. And uh, sorry that we didn't get much good video. Forgot to bring a flashlight on this trip, but these things were so like dim and not very good at all. But anyway, it was still pretty cool in there. Lots of bats, which the kids liked a lot. So you got this cool tree right here. So as you're walking along, you might come across places like this. Obviously they had a fire here, they had some corn here. And that is because normally they sell corn, roasted corn here. But apparently they're not doing that today, or at least at this time of day. But uh, if you come here other times, guys, you might get to get some really tasty fire roasted corn with hot sauce on it. It's pretty good stuff. 
But I don't think we're gonna get any today. Continuing on the trail. Hey, nice places here. to eat. Yep. Three years ago. This Three right years here. ago. Really? It was right here? I think so. Huh. And one, and one up there too. It Let's might go. not have been this one, but for sure the one that was up there. Yeah. For sure. Panda. So we keep on going. We're looking for the Dutch caves now. Check out these cool cones of beauty. That's what Jules calls them. Cones of beauty. Yeah, you know what we call you? Uh, you call me what? We call you the chief of big of, what do we say? <laughs> what do we call you? <laughs> chief. We call you the chief of. Chief breaker chief of big breaker, wind. Yeah, that's what it is. Chief breaker of big wind. <laughs> On the way, you can stop and look at this pretty cool looking no. place right here. A little creek down there in the bottom. Take a break sitting on the wall like Sarah. All right, let's cruise on into the Dutch caves. Ooh. Dun 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 Watch out for the little trenches. Wow, oh, look at these little tiny, little tiny walkways through here. Oh, look, you can get out that way. That's cool. Got all these guys coming right here. Cruise down this way, down this little tunnel. Let's see where it goes before the battery and the phone dies. It's only at 6%. Oh, what's that? Huh. There's a little room right here we can cruise on into. It's pretty echoey in there, huh? Check out this right here, we got a solid wall. And then, it's a secret room. Hey, somebody else shine that light in here. Secret room, shine your light in there, sir. Here, I'll shine it in better. Can I see your light? That's not all the Cool, man. What is it? It's just a dark room in there. Dark room. Scary. Attack of the gnats. Oh. 